Hi, so today we're going to be going over a board that had no trackpad and also no keyboard, and um, I'm a little bit embarrassed to say that we actually replaced the trackpad, the keyboard, and the trackpad cable <laughs> before uh, it finally wound up on my desk because after doing all this, it still didn't work. Uh, so I looked at it for a while. I tried the whole new trackpad, keyboard. Obviously, you can see that because I have it on my desk. And I wasn't really using my brain because I did the exact same thing. Now, one of the things that you should look at in this circuit to figure out why it is it's doing that, um, just look at the schematic. Let's follow along and do some basic troubleshooting. So this is the keyboard connector, right? J5700. So we look for J5700, and we see this, IPD flex connector. Now, I checked over here. I checked that. PP3V3S4 trackpad was making it to the trackpad. I checked that PP3V3S4 trackpad was making it to this chip over here that takes the input from the keyboard and the trackpad and sends it off. I checked that PP3V4 2 underscore G3 hot trackpad was going to the trackpad. I checked that the sleep signal was over here going to the select line. So then let's follow along USB TPad R P. So these are two signals from the data line, the P and the N signal. And they head over here to USB underscore tackpad underscore hub underscore P and N. And that goes over to this chip over here. This is a little USB hub. Now, again, we have Bluetooth, trackpad, keyboard, SMC port, and SD card. This chip had power going to it. So I decided, you know what? Let's see if the SD card reader works. And I don't have an SD card reader, so I decided to see if the Bluetooth worked. And the Bluetooth didn't work, even though on that exact same operating system and same drive, it worked with another computer. So what happens when I look over that area in the microscope, but this, this, this is what we wasted an hour on, this fucking bullshit, before it got to my desk. Uh, this, you see that? that let's, let's see what, what that is. So we go over to the board view over here. And that's supposed to be R2600. So we're going to try and see what happens when we put R2600 on. So R20... <coughs> oh, I'm so tired of being sick, man. R2600 is a 12 kilo ohm resistor that goes between USB, hub one, R bias, and ground. And let's just look it up to see what it does. USB 2513B. Okay, let's see what that little line does. Because I always like to show you how you can find all this information in the data sheet. I don't want a brochure, I want a data sheet. Okay, let's see. Pin out. We're gonna ignore all this junk we see here. You probably don't understand what half of it means. I don't understand what at least three quarters of it means. I'm not even gonna try. So which pin are we interested in? It is pin 35. So pin 35 is R bias. What does R bias do? Resistor is attached from ground to this pin to set the transceiver's internal bias settings. I'm pretty sure if that's not attached, that it won't work. It's nothing that I didn't know if I, uh, you know, didn't already know, just from common, common fucking sense and the fact that this shit doesn't work right now. So we're going to add a little bit of solder over there. That's right, solder with two Ds, mofo, because I don't want to say it with, with an L. <coughs> oh, I hate soldering when sick. <coughs> uh, nothing. You see where I scraped that shit right there? Right over there, you can see like when I coughed, how I just kind of dug into the board. By the way, this board already has a lot of fuckery going on, as you can see. Um, yeah, we got that going all the way to the other side of here for, for battery charging stuff. So we, there's all sorts of fun stuff going on on this board already. But this keyboard thing was just too much. It really, it really is. It's one of those things where it's, you know... Hey, oh, and you can always, oh, you can see over here where the little, little where, the, where the stuff from the trackpad and the keyboard comes in. Before I even bothered to check the USB mux and the USB hub, before I actually bothered to use my brain, which is what I'm always telling you to do, look what I did. Look at this. Oh, look at this. I, I replaced the fucking chip that sits between the USB hub and the trackpad. Idiocy. Complete idiocy. I didn't, like, all you had to do is look over and say, hey, does this have Bluetooth? Oh, no, it doesn't have Bluetooth. Oh, maybe you have a problem with your USB mux area. Oh, look at that. There's a resistor that's supposed to be there that's not there. Maybe we should look into that. Like, just common fucking sense that I just... Oh, I'm disgusted at myself sometimes.
Oh, that is one crooked little resistor. It's about as crooked as the inside of my lungs are right now. Yeah, it's going to stay that way probably. Yeah, who are we kidding? That's going to stay exactly as it is. Okay, now we go over to the test setup. <coughs> oh, I'm tired of coughing. So before, the keyboard didn't work at all. So let's, uh, yeah, I'll plug the original SSD in. I hate errors for this nonsense, so I'm not using the trackpad and the keyboard that are in the... You have to take the entire thing out to test this kind of stuff because, the you know, the flex cable from the trackpad goes to here... And then the keyboard has to plug into the trackpad, but it, it can't plug in like this. It has to plug in like this. This is just all, all bullshit. Oh. And then the screen has a cable that's this long before it goes into the, the LCD. And you can't test with the LCD by itself because it's not a complete part. So you got to... No, this is not a nice machine to test outside. It really wastes real estate, real estate and it's a real pain in the ass. Okay. I'll forget about it. Veneer. I'll get it. When once I'm done forgetting about it. You missed the R bias on the USB MUX. How could you miss the R bias on the USB MUX? Just remind me on Monday. I'll forget. I won't forget. As you can see, when I hit the option key, I can choose which drive I want to boot from. And I can also hit caps lock on the keyboard, and you can see that little green light's lighting up and going away, which means that I fixed the problem. It was R bias in the USB mux. Duh! Oh, man, I'm an idiot sometimes.